I was sitting on the sofa when I heard a loud knock at the door. I went to see who it was, and I saw a young woman standing there. She looked kind of familiar, but I couldn't hmm. place her. Hello, who are you? I'm your sister. I looked at her in shock. What she had said made no sense at all. My sister had died five years ago. But before I go on, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, or you might end up with a crazy sibling like me. I was really close to my mom. I couldn't really remember much about my dad. My parents had divorced when my sister and I were about three years old. He hadn't had anything to do with us at all. It used to be the three of us, mom, me, and my sister, Holly. That was until the fatal day we lost Holly in a car crash. My life <laughs> changed forever that day. It seemed like a small part of me died as well. Holly and I were inseparable. We weren't identical in our looks, but we were like two peas in a pod when it came to our characters and the things we liked. I had to stay strong for mom's sake. She was devastated when Holly died, and I didn't want to add to her misery. I pretended that I was fine, but really, I was lost without Holly. I didn't have many friends. When Holly was alive, we always did everything together. We didn't need anyone else. It was really difficult when I went back to school after Holly's crash. The other kids didn't really know what to say to me, and so I found myself just spending most of my time alone. I felt really lonely, but I didn't know how to reach out to anyone. But one day, that all changed. I met Tom. I had seen him around school, but I'd never really spoken to him. I thought he was cute, but I was far too shy to do anything about it. Anyway, I had been struggling with maths, and my teacher had suggested to mom that it might be a good idea for me to go to the after-school maths club to get some extra help. I wasn't keen at first, but mom persuaded me to give it a try. The first person I noticed when I walked into the classroom was Tom. He was sitting at the back of the room, and as I walked in, he looked up and smiled at me. He had a gorgeous smile and kind eyes. Why don't you sit here? He asked, pointing at the chair next to him. Sure, thanks. I'm Tom. Christy. Hey, Christy. From that moment on, we hit it off. Tom was really nice and went out of his way to explain things to me if I didn't understand them. For the first time in a long time, I was starting to enjoy my life again. Sometimes I felt a bit guilty for having fun, but then I reminded myself that Holly wouldn't want me to be moping around being miserable all the time. Tom was like my guardian angel. If anyone did anything or said anything mean to me, he would jump in and defend me. I was so glad to have him as my friend. One day I was walking home from school and some mean girls started picking on me. They were laughing at my clothes and calling me names. Tom heard them and came rushing over. Hey, leave her alone. You girls are just mean bullies. The girls all ran off laughing. Thank you, Tom. You're such a good friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, you know, I'd like to be more than friends. I'd like to be your boyfriend. My heart skipped a beat when I heard his words. I I'd like that too. Tom grinned from ear to ear. That's settled then. My heart was bursting with joy. When I got home, I ran into the kitchen to find my mom. Tom wants me to be his girlfriend. Mom looked up from what she was doing and smiled mm. at me. That's lovely, Christy. I'm so happy for you. Can I invite him over this weekend so you can meet him properly? Of course, that's a great idea. Why not invite him over to dinner on Saturday night? So, Saturday night came and Tom came over. Mom ordered a pizza for us all and we spent the whole evening watching movies and chilling on the sofa. It was a perfect night. When Tom left to go home, Mom came and sat with me. I'm so happy you found such a nice boy, Christy. Yes, I'm really lucky. Tom is such a good guy. I wish you could find someone nice too, Mom. Mom had been having a hard time recently. My dad had been in touch with her. I wasn't sure exactly what he had said to her, but he made it quite clear that he was trying to get her back. The problem was, even though Mom knew he was only using her because he needed some money, she was finding it very difficult to say no to him. It had taken Mom years to get over losing my dad, and now that Holly was gone, she was really vulnerable. I was determined that I wasn't going to let her take my dad back. He didn't love her. He just needed a place to stay. You know there's only ever been one man for me, Christy. That's your father. Mom, you know he's a loser. Please, don't take him back. I know, I know. I, I won't take him back. 
Even though mom had said those words, I didn't believe her. I felt sure that somehow dad would convince her to give him another chance. Well, there was no way I was going to be that soft. I decided I would take matters into my own hands. My opportunity came the following weekend. Mom had told me that dad was coming over to our house just to talk. I made sure that I was home when he arrived. Mom went into the kitchen to make a cup of tea and I seized my chance. We don't want you here, Dad. I know you don't love Mom. You're just using her because you need a place to stay. That's not true, Christy. I miss your mom, and I miss you, too. If you missed us so much, how come it's taking you this long to come and find us? I know you've just split up with your girlfriend and that she has kicked you out of her house. Just admit it. You'll only stay here until something better comes along. My dad didn't want to give in, so I had no choice but to threaten him. You either leave this house this minute, or I'm going to call the police. He could see from the determined look on my face that I wasn't kidding around. He picked up his coat and walked out of the house, just before Mom came back from the kitchen. Where's your dad gone? He's left, and he won't be coming back. But a couple of minutes later, there was a knock at the door. I went to open the door, expecting it to be my dad, but instead, a young woman was standing there. Hello? Who are you? I'm your sister. I stood there staring at her. I couldn't believe it. My dead sister was standing outside my house. Except she wasn't dead. She was well and truly alive. Aren't you going to ask me to come in? I'm sorry. It's just such a shock. Come in. Come in. I took Holly through the lounge. When mom saw her, she dropped the cup of tea she was holding and the cup smashed on the floor. Holly? H how can you be here? Mom jumped up and pulled Holly into her arms. Oh, darling, I missed you so much. I thought you were dead. Mom was so happy to see her, but I wanted an explanation. We were told you died in a car crash five years ago. What's been going on? Holly explained to us that it was true she had been in a car crash, but she had survived. Only straight after the crash, she had been kidnapped. She told us that someone was trying to kill her, so she had gone into hiding for five years to avoid her attackers. But now she felt it was safe to return. Enough time has gone by. They've stopped looking for me. I'm so happy to have you back. I've missed my twin. Holly moved back in with me and mom. We didn't hear from dad ever again. And mom didn't give him another thought. She had all she needed now that Holly was home with us. I gave Holly a couple of days to settle back in before I introduced her to Tom. Holly, this is my boyfriend, Tom. Tom, this is my twin sister, Holly. I explained to Tom all about what had really happened to Holly, but he was a bit skeptical. Are you sure we can trust her, Christy? Her story sounds a bit fishy to me. Of course I trust her. She's my sister. Anyway, why would she lie? I'm sorry. It just doesn't really add up. How could you say something like that? She's my sister. I'm guessing I'm just not as gullible as you. I was so annoyed with Tom. I think you better leave, Tom. I'm not gullible for believing my own sister. Maybe we should take a break. We both need a bit of space. Are you finishing with me? I think it's for the best, don't you? Tom left the house without a backwards glance. I was sad to see him go, but I couldn't date him if he didn't trust my family. It took me a while to get back to sleep that night. I couldn't stop thinking about what Tom had said. The next morning when I woke up, I was shocked to find that I wasn't in my room. I blinked my eyes and looked around me. I had no idea where I was. I tried to sit up, but I couldn't move. My arms and legs had been chained to the bed. I began to struggle, but it was no use. I couldn't get out of the chains. Suddenly, the door to the room opened. I saw Holly standing there. Holly, help me! What's going on? But instead of untying me, Holly stood there and told me what she was going to do. I'm going to take over your identity. I will let mom think that Holly has left again without a word. Then I will pretend to be you. But why? Because I'm tired of living my life on the line. I got involved with some pretty bad people, and now my life is ruined. But your life is perfect. I'm going to steal your life for myself, including Tom. I'm going to tell him that he was right all along about Holly, and that I want to get back with him. You're crazy! You can't keep me locked up forever! Just watch me. I struggled to get out of the chains, but Holly just stood there laughing. I was about to give up when suddenly someone burst through the door, bringing it crashing off its hinges. Tom, how did you know I was here? 
I suspected she might try something. I used the location feature on your phone and tracked you to here. Holly smacked herself on the head. I can't believe I forgot to turn off the location tracker. But you're not going to ruin my plan. Holly lunged at Tom and tried to knock him to the floor, but he was too quick for her. He dodged out of her way and then spun round and grabbed her hands. He found a piece of rope and tied her hands up. Then he came to untie me. I'm sorry. You were right about Holly. I should never have believed her. Tom undid the chains, tying my hands and feet. Once I was free, I jumped up off the bed. But when I turned to say something to Holly, she was nowhere to be seen. All that was left was the piece of rope lying on the floor. Where's Holly gone now? I don't know, and I don't care. As long as she stays away from you and your mom. I had no idea what I was going to tell mom. I couldn't let her know the truth. It would break her heart. I decided that the best thing to do would be to tell her that Holly had decided to go away for a while. Mom was a bit upset that Holly hadn't said goodbye. I've only just got her back, and now she's vanished again. I know, but she told me that she just had a really great opportunity. It was all last minute. She asked me to say goodbye to you. I never heard another word from Holly, and nor did Mom. I have no idea where she is or if we will ever see her again. I still can't believe what she was going to do to her own sister. Thank God I've got Tom. He's the only thing that keeps me sane. I'm trying to lead a normal life, but every day I'm scared that she might come back and try to steal my identity from me again.